Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Tammy. You're watching Two for the Road. Our channel is about camping, cooking, and trailing with our Jeep. So join us for this adventure. So we're here at Chihuahua State Park in Alabama. We're just doing one overnighter on our way back to Florida. So since we just have a limited time here, we're not wasting any time. We did set up real quick of the camper, got our utilities hooked up. Now we're gonna head out to the waterfall. So join us for that little hike and the spectacular sights of the waterfall that they have here to offer. Okay, so we're taking the trail called Lake Connector. It's a easy to light moderate trail that will lead to the waterfall. And basically it's a trail that goes around the lake that leads to it. Um, turns out that the waterfall itself is actually a dam that makes up the waterfall. So we're gonna follow that. It's actually trail number two that the park has to offer. So I just wanna talk about a little bit about the park itself. Um, we'll just show our campsite and the adjoining campsites that's with us because we have a pull through that's also connected together to uh, three other sites. So the campground offers 24 campsites to choose from. The outer loop is like in a wooded area. The inner loop is more like a uh, kind of grassy area. Um, I'll show you a video of that when we get back, but we wanted to do this waterfall hike quickly because today is a 100% chance of rain and we already felt some sprinkles. So we brought our ponchos just in case we get caught in it. So we're gonna try to get this trail in pretty quick so we can get back and hopefully the rain will hold off and where we can maybe have a fire and get our dinner cooked so enjoy the trail Okay, we made it to the bottom and here's the dam which is also the waterfall but that's actually not the real spectacular view it's what comes after the waterfall It's the rocks and the stream heading downhill, heading downstream. Let's go walk down that way and see what we can see. Come on, get out of the way. Come on.
Hey Cooper. Come on, Cooper. Come on. Look at there's Daddy. Come on. Okay, it's time to do hide a rock and if you're watching this video for the first time and just want to let the new viewers know that we do hide a rock, we do four rocks per campground we visit and we hide them at campgrounds for other folks to find and rehide. But if you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe and check out episode number 15. So we're going to hide a rock right here and then I have a bonus rock to hide. Um, the last park we were at um, over in Georgia we found this beauty right here which was a little girl that's also doing hide a rock and I found her rock when I was hiding my rock and I let them know that I found it and I would be taking it to this park and I'm gonna hide her rock here so we're gonna hide it here right down here for some other folks to find so there you go your rock has traveled from Georgia to Alabama so good luck on folks finding your rock and uh, hopefully it travels to another state maybe it'll make it to Alaska or something all right, let's get back, hide some more rocks. So this is what our site looks like. It's a pull through. It's like kind of like a buddy pull through. There's three pull throughs that kind of meet together. And so you can see there's a RV kind of in the same lane as us, but they have their own utility hookup and everything. Their own fire pit picnic table. So let's walk around the loop and kind of give you an idea what some of the other sites look like. As you see this morning we got up it's a bit chilly and uh, got some fog set in. But this is site number nine back in. This is on the outer loop. It's got some shade and trees all over. It's a gravel pad. It's 30-50 amp sewer hookup and water um, so it's a full hookup site uh, it has a fire ring with the ability to cook on it a picnic table and a standalone grill this is the type of sites I prefer where it has everything but we don't always get that lucky and get sites like that um, so right in the center of the loop you got your comfort station and a small swing set <coughs> Earlier in the video, I said there was 24 sites to choose from. There's actually 38. There is a separate loop, just not too far from here, um, that accommodates more RVs. But we did drive around a little bit last night and try to spot some deer. We did see some deer, but by the time we got around to grabbing the camera, they off on me, so. We've gotten no wildlife video on any of these campsites we've done for the past two weeks. So, heading down to the, looks like the other only available empty campsite, site number 16. Um, it's number, you know, yeah. It is a pull through. Now this one's set up a little weird. It's not for a big rig, obviously, because as you can see, it pulls in, and then your utility hookup is like literally right there. So you'd have to park adjacent. So it's going to be for a small rig. And then your fire ring's like here. And then your picnic table and your standalone grill is over here. So it's not well not well planned out so 
that's it. That's it for the loop. I'm gonna head back and we got a long drive to head back to Florida, which we'll be going to Manatee. Yes, Manatee Springs. And it's gonna be about a seven hour drive from here. So we need to get to packing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and happy camping.